I'm going to dive right into it. Some numbers. Um, uh, TV seems to have had a small dip in terms of viewership and a 13% drop compared to pre-COVID uh, year. And in 2022, the data suggests that there's been some sign of stress in linear TV and its share has come down. How is uh, TV look, looking like to you at this point of time in 2023 and beyond perhaps, Sam? So, Siddharth, I might have to get a little technical. Please do. I don't know whether your viewers... Uh, they love it. They like love that. it. <laughs> they love it. So, actually, my master class that I just took at Goa Fest was all about that. So, I think the reality is that you and me and everybody else in India and, in fact, in the world are now spending more and more time with a digital device. And most often it is our handphone. So I'm not overly surprised if, you know, there is a little dip in television viewership. You know, it's a question of evolution. First, when I started in advertising or in marketing, 100% was between print and cinema. Then came television and everybody thought that was the end of print. But print today is still 22% of addicts. We're probably the only country along with Germany that still has such a high share for print. In my view, more than the slight dip in television viewership that you're seeing, the more serious dip is if you look into the data very closely and you know, you analyze TV viewership by what we call heavy, medium and light then light viewers are really the ones who are being underserved by television in our media plans. Okay. So, you know, now BAR gives us ready data. Okay. You know, dividing viewership amongst heavy, heavy medium, and, medium li and light. Hmm. So the slightly worrisome thing is that if you do a TV alone media plan, hmm. like how we used to do in the days gone by, then you could be underserving hmm. as much as one third of your target audience. Okay. And most of them will be young. Okay. Because the older people still watch a lot of television. But the younger people, the drop is very perceptible in light TV viewers. And therefore, you have no option, according to me today, but to augment your TV plan hmm. with digital to reach out to those, uh, uh, to those light TV viewers. So, so, I'm sorry to interrupt you. What should TV publishers be doing to ensure that that light segment, as you define it, is addressed by them? Is it even possible, feasible, feasible given technology? Uh, I think, I think, let me say this, all is not lost. TV continues to be a fantastic medium. I do believe that TV is terrific at brand building. Digital cannot match TV in its brand building properties. So, I think TV should, of course, not throw out the baby with the bath water. It has considerable strength. Going forward, I am personally very bullish on connected TV. Hmm. Connected TV, okay. Connected TV, according to me, is a happy union that gives me 
all the advantages of television and its brand building power power and also all the gizmos and targeting and data analytics and all that of digital also let me tell you i mean right now as we speak i think connected tv is terrific okay for advertisers especially those advertisers who want to reach out to the top echelons of indian society because more and more advertisers are discovering it very fast hmm. if you ask me what television people should do i think they should go out of their way to make advertisers sample the power of connected tv if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe 